chicken tikka masala would have to be a household favourite. It's a beautiful midweek meal, fit for any family to feast on. There's lots of spices, lots of fresh flavours, and you can change the protein to whatever you like. I'm using chicken today, and I like to use chicken thigh because it braises down really nicely and stays super tender and juicy. Now we're gonna go in with lots of spices and add a really nice marinade to this. So I've got some cumin, coriander, smoked paprika, and chili powder, as well as some garam masala. I'm gonna sprinkle this all over our chicken. Now, if you have time, I would highly recommend to marinate your chicken or protein of your choice overnight. But if you don't have time, like me today, just a really quick marinade because there's so much flavor already in these spices that the chicken will absorb that flavor straight away. Now, I'm going in with some cream, which is going to just coat that chicken really beautifully. And we're just going to, using the fork, kind of squish it all around and move it all around so everything is coated nicely. And the cream will really caramelize in the pan and get a beautiful golden crust. It is a little naughtier option to add, so you could use yogurt as a healthier, more alternate option, but we are going all out today. We're gonna go in with some salt and pepper. And then on a nice high heat behind me, we're gonna render this chicken and get it super golden and pretty much cook it about halfway through. And then we'll finish cooking it in the beautiful tikka masala sauce. Dishes like this just remind me of my time in India, in Bangalore, we've got beautiful spice markets, all the color, all the vibrancy, the beautiful people and the food. And a meal like this is just comforting and brings me back to those beautiful times. Alright, so our chicken is half cooked through. You can see we've got lots of colour from the pan. I'm just going to dice this up and then add it into our curry sauce, which is bubbling away behind us. Now for the curry sauce, I started with some onions, some garlic and some ginger. And you just want to sweat those down until they are nice and soft before you go in with your spices. And so for the spices, I've gone in with some chili powder, cumin, coriander, paprika, turmeric, and garam masala. And once that's all sweated off, you're going with some tomatoes, stock, and the yogurt. And that just gives it a really nice savory and creamy, almost acidic, beautiful little sauce that's really fresh from adding all that yogurt into it. And once this chicken is chopped, we're gonna add this in. We'll pop the lid back onto the sauce and we'll just let this bubble away for around 15 minutes or until the chicken has fully cooked through and add these pan juices because that is just beautiful chicken flavor. with the help of the hydrogen powered cooktop and being able to balance the heat from low to high to really get all the flavors into this curry. There is dinner served up for the whole family. Now you can serve this with rice or some homemade naan bread, but I'm just serving it with some simple flatbreads I bought from the shops just because I wanted to put all my energy into this curry. And you can see how saucy and beautiful in color this is. It is just to die for. All right, just a little bit more of that chicken and we'll just pick some coriander. And for me, the smells of this curry just transport me back to my time in Bangalore and throughout India, discovering the beautiful food they have on offer. Some flatbread on the side. That is a meal feat for a queen.